ever faced a situation where you are stuck up with the data which is not getting loaded or ever faced in a situation where you are almost about to complete the work but the data is changed but you are not aware of it how to tackle the situation hi i am m asif hussain from nohav academy what are we going to learn in this video we are going to learn how can we refresh the data in a report which is published in a power bi service my dear viewers when i am talking about the refresh we think that the refresh is a general terminology or the refresh is something which we generally use in our computers no what are we going to learn in this video we are going to learn what are the different types of refreshes we have in power bi we are going to learn how to configure the refresh in power bi service to refresh the data so watch till the end there are three types of refreshes we have in power bi which is a manual refresh manual refresh is the general type of refresh where you get the latest data of the values now if i would like to show you a power bi desktop so in this power bi desktop here we have a refresh option so this is a manual refresh that we generally do so what this refresh will do it will just give us the latest data you know by refreshing all the values in this report that i have now this report might contain uh, five pages two pages one page whatever it may be but it refreshes the data so why is this refresh required this refresh is required to know and to check the latest information the latest data that we have so let me give you a general scenario an example i hope we all might have seen the conveyors and how the vehicles get manufactured in a manufacturing company or how the food the biscuits chocolates get you know manufactured in a food processing industries so what the generally happens so there will be a condition that per day i need to get 24 vehicles as a productive output or per day i need to get 100 chocolates from a conveyor belt okay so let us consider that's a quantity that we require okay so how do you track the data if you would like to track one month of data or two months of data or three months of data how would you like to track it when this question is asked it is not at all possible that someone can note it down in a pen and paper and track the record it's very difficult so what generally this manufacturing industries are doing is that they have given some automated option for this kind of uh, work and it is highly impossible to keep some human interference to just give us the data no this is a techno world everything is automated so what they have done is that they have given a automated option in a system that it gives us the latest information every day and stores this particular data in some cloud devices in some cloud services so that kind of possibility we even have it in our power bi so where and when this will be used when i would like to give you a simple example the client has given us a data which is generally from a database or any some cloud services you are working on this data but you are not aware of the data that is getting changed or though the client or a customer has intimated that they have changed or updated the data you have forgotten to refresh it then it is obvious that you are you are going to show some inappropriate data or inappropriate information or inappropriate report to the client or customer to overcome this problem once we when we publish this report into our power bi service there is a refresh that is called as scheduled refresh in the name itself we have scheduled refresh so this is a second type of refresh we have in power bi we are scheduling the date and time to refresh the data so how should we do that for this let's go into the our power bi service until or unless our gateway connection is not connected our gateway connection is not configured we cannot do this data refresh option that we have it here 
so we need to connect our data gateway connection then only we can schedule a refresh when i'm talking about a scheduled refresh again we have to understand the three types of licenses that is available in power bi we have a free license premium license and pro license so for free license we can use it in a power bi desktop which is a manual refresh and in a premium user for a premium per capacity we can do a refresh up to 48 times per day the same for pro version we need to do the refresh for 8 times per day so now i am using a pro license so i can schedule the refresh up to 8 times so just let's check it out i'm just switching it on so now what's happening here it is asking me the frequency whether you would like to select the weekly or you would like to select a daily okay if i select a daily i'm adding a time so the default time that power bi gives us is 1 am if you would like to change you can go to change 4 am i'm adding another time let me take 6 am i'm adding another time let me take 12 noon okay now i'm adding another time let me take uh, 3 pm okay i'm adding another time let me take 5 pm so another time let me take 8 pm so let me take another one let me take 10 pm and let me add another time let me take 12 am okay so as you observe that starting from 4 am till 12 am in a day 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 i can able to refresh the data which is scheduled refresh up to 8 times as i am a pro user as i am a pro license user so in a pro version you can refresh the data up to 8 times so my dear viewers when you are publishing a report into power bi service then when we configure data gateway then only we can go and create the refresh here so this is the scheduled refresh so we have another type of refresh that is called as incremental refresh so incremental refresh it will refresh the latest data or the recent data for example past 4 days past 1 month data that data if you want to refresh by selecting specific data we can go with incremental refresh so this is how we can do a refresh to a particular report in a power bi service when we publish it so these are all the different types of refreshes we have in uh, power bi so my dear viewers in this video we have learned how to refresh a data what are the different types of refreshes we have and how to uh, use the scheduled refresh in power bi service after we publish a report so thank you for choosing know how academy as your source for it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate the tech world if you have any questions do not hesitate to reach out it's been a pleasure sharing this information with you stay curious and keep learning